In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how to use the Flutter package, Flutter Switch. This package enables you to design your own custom switch. And as you can see in the sample app we're going to build today, so you can define the size of the switch, the size of the toggle here, size of the text, or whether you want to have text in there or not. If you also look at the pub.dev website, you can also have a look at what is possible here. So you could even put in images here, as you can see here. Let's get started. So as mentioned, we are going to use the Flutter package, Flutter switch. Just press on here to copy it to your clipboard and then your pubspec.yaml file. Underneath your dependencies, just paste it in here and run pubget. That's all we need to do for the setup. Then of course, import the Flutter switch package into your Flutter file. Concerning the layout, I simply build a very simple Flutter app where we have a scaffold. The scaffold has an app bar and a body. And within the body, we have a centered Flutter switch widget and it's as straightforward as you can see. So we have this Flutter switch widget where we can define the width. So this is the width the height, the value font size of this here, then the toggle size, so this one here. So if we set this, for example, to 15 and reload this, as you can see here, now the toggle size is pretty small. So let's undo this. Then we have the value, of course, so our Boolean behind it. So we know whether it's toggled on or off. I simply define this here above. So it's simply a Boolean status equals false at the beginning and on toggle. So we basically set the state that the status changed so that we can update whatever we want in our Flutter app. Here you can also define whether it should show the off and on labels here. So if we set this to false and rerun this, as you can see here now, the text is gone. And we could also define the active color as such. For example, in this case, I used red for the active color. I hope you liked this tutorial. Please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below in the comments. And thank you for watching.